they're not we've not crossed into previously. So this is history making, really, on the in scientific level. Uh, yes, it, it's a uh, it's another leap forward, uh, as some people think, uh, in our ability to crush atoms together. <laughs> if, if you know, some people think that's a good idea. Others do not. And there's some question, I guess, when you tread areas that have never been tread before, you don't really know what you're getting into. Everything is on a theoretical level, right? That's absolutely correct. It's, uh, there are ideas as to what might occur. In fact, there are quite a lot of ideas as to what might occur. And uh, some of them rule out the others as being possibilities, and uh, nobody knows which one is the correct idea. <laughs> and uh, that's where some of the ideas are actually somewhat scary. Uh, mm. One of the ideas is that uh, it will make a new kind of matter called strange matter, or strangelet. And uh, that's where you have uh, not only the up and down quarks you, that you have for your protons and neutrons, when you collide those together, those are liberated or deconfined, as, as we say in physics. And uh, also, new quarks are, can be created from all of the energy. Uh, there's about a thousand times more energy from the speed of the particles than there is from the mass of the particles. So all of that excess energy can be used to make in new particles, and those could include strange quarks. And if you get an equal number of up, down, and strange quarks, there's good theory that shows you can form a more stable kind of matter than normal atoms. And uh, the people have looked for these at lower energy colliders for years. Uh, there have been dozens of experiments to look for this kind of stuff. Nothing's been found before. And so now they're hoping to be able to make something uh, in an experiment uh, doing something that doesn't actually occur in nature. Uh, and so uh, the idea being, though, that well, they'd be safe, they think. But <laughs> we don't know that. Uh, another idea is they might form little tiny microscopic black holes. Yes. And uh, that's... Uh, also something that uh, they think will just instantly evaporate by a process called Hawking radiation. But again, that's a theory, and we don't know that that is what would occur. I notice it's named Hawking. Is that named after Stephen Hawking? That's correct. Uh, Stephen Hawking came up with this idea about 30 years ago, in fact. Uh, microscopic black holes were envisioned back then to have possibly been created during the initial stage of the development of the universe. Uh, and uh, so he was trying to figure out a what, what happened to them. We don't see them. So he came up with an idea that uh, they possibly have evaporated. And, uh, and that's a possibility. But there's also another possibility that they just are stable, don't do anything. And there's a third possibility is that they actually grow larger on their own. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, so is we Russian, don't know. this is a scientific Russian roulette. In other words, we it really is. don't know. I mean, Stephen Hawking's a brilliant guy, but uh, do we want to risk the universe on his theory? Well, it, it's not risking the universe. It's, it's just risking our planet. Oh, okay. So let's not get carried away. <laughs> well, that's bad enough. <laughs> I'm getting my ticket for uh, Mars, like, real soon, I think. <laughs>